Now, as we approach the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa Race Massacre, the lawyer who is suing the city of Tulsa, seeking reparations for victims and descendants of the event, held a Zoom lecture today to explain his case. Two Works Fuse Jeanette Kazada is live at the site of the new Greenwood Rising Museum with the details on that and what the city says it's doing to rebuild Greenwood. Jeanette? That's right, Karen. This museum that's being built right behind me is being built to honor the memory of hundreds of black Tulsans that lost their lives in the 1921 race massacre. But for many Tulsans, they feel that this museum and the redevelopment that's happening here in the Greenwood District is not enough to repair the tragedy. The form that reparations takes in Tulsa, I think, first of all, there's got to be an accounting uh, of the families that were destroyed, the, the town that was destroyed. The 1921 race massacre not only claimed the lives, but also destroyed businesses and an entire community causing deep wounds. Nearly 100 years later, many are seeking healing through reparations. Raymond Winbush is an author and professor who has studied the issue of reparations. The descendants of those people that were massacred are owed something, particularly the business people, but all are owed something. Attorney Demario Solomon Simmons agrees, which is why back in September, he filed a lawsuit against the city of Tulsa for reparations for victims and descendants of the 1921 massacre. And we feel so strongly about our position that we should be successful, but it's a shame that we had to bring it to a lawsuit because everyone knows what happened in Greenwood was murder. Everyone knows what happened in Greenwood was injustice, but that's why we move forward within the legal system. Today, he hosted a lecture where he addressed the topic of reparations. He was critical of Tulsa's mayor, G.T. Bynum, for not supporting the reparations that would provide a form of compensation to descendants of those impacted by the massacre. The mayor did not want to comment since it's in litigation, but the city's chief of economic development tells us they are being very intentional about the inclusion of stakeholders in the redevelopment of the Greenwood district. As we think about this next phase of development in Greenwood, and particularly as we think about uh, redevelopment projects that the city is involved in, um, we are committed to ensuring that those projects and those processes create the space and the opportunity in a very deliberate fashion for uh, black business owners and black contractors and really thinking through how do we ensure that we're responding to um, this lack of opportunity um, or a desire to participate directly in the economic revitalization of Greenwood. And we're not sure what happens next with that lawsuit, but of course, we'll keep you posted. Karen, back to you. Now, Jeanette, what kind of relief are the plaintiffs asking for in the lawsuit? That's right, Karen. Well, it's actually a very long list. I can tell you it includes monetary compensation and an admission from the defendants that they created a public nuisance. The suit also seeks to prohibit the defendants from pro profiting off of the museum right here. Instead, the plaintiffs want what, that money to go towards the vic a victim's compensation fund. Karen? All right, that's Jeanette Casano reporting live for us in the Greenwood District.